Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and the definition of a shiny Pokémon according to Bulbapedia is a specific Pokémon with different coloration to what is usual for its species. Shiny Pokémon were introduced in Generation 2, and while a couple shiny colorations change from Gen 2 to Gen 3, every single Pokémon's shiny coloration has been consistent since Generation 3. However, throughout the history of the Pokémon franchise, there have been several instances of alternately colored Pokémon, therefore shiny Pokémon, that don't look the same as the official shiny colorations in the main series games. Therefore, that technically means that those shiny Pokémon are wrong shinies, despite the fact that they are from official material. I thought it would be fun to list off some of those occurrences, so this video is 15 instances of wrong shiny Pokemon from official material. By the way, if this video sounds a bit familiar, I did make a video on the same topic around two years ago. I just wanted to update it and expand upon it because I really liked that other one. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, and let's get started with number one, the Magikarp in Magikarp Jump. Magikarp Jump is a mobile game where the main premise is you fishing up Magikarp to use in the town's Magikarp Jumping Contest to see whose can jump the highest. Amusingly in this game, if your Magikarp evolves into a Gyarados, that is actually a bad thing because it means it can't participate in the jump contest anymore. While it is possible to fish up a golden Magikarp, the official shiny coloration, there are a lot of other Magikarp colors that you can find, with 33 in total. There's the normal coloring, the shiny coloring, and then 31 other different colorations of Magikarp. And while several of these are very similar to the regular Magikarp coloring, there are a lot that are vastly different. You can find Magikarp that are orange, pink, gray, purple, brown, apricot, mostly white, black, blue and violet, and yes, apparently violet is different from purple in this game, and each of those colorations has multiple variations. Interestingly though, all of these Magikarp will still evolve into a regular blue Gyarados, except of course the golden official shiny Magikarp. So while they don't remain shiny, these Magikarp's colorations are different from normal, and therefore they're shiny. And also, clearly, very wrong shinies. Number two is Ash's Lapras's mom. Back in the Orange Island saga of the anime, there were two different episodes where we got to see the mother of Ash's Lapras. And while its coloration isn't as extremely different as some of the Magikarp we just discussed, it is still a very noticeably lighter shade of blue. Normal shiny Lapras is purple, so clearly this is not an official shiny Lapras. And while its coloration is still blue, the difference is much too large for it to just be written off as a normal variance in pigmentation. Heck, we have official shiny colorations that aren't as noticeable of a difference as this. Like fan pee and regular fan pee. That's a very similar situation to this Lapras situation. So this, to me, is good enough to qualify it as a wrong shiny. That isn't the only instance of a wrong shiny Pokemon showing up in the Orange Island saga though. Another example is number three, the Valencia Island Pokemon. Toward the beginning of the Orange Island saga, Ash, Misty, and Brock arrive at Valencia Island, the location of Professor Ivy's lab. Living at her lab are several Pokemon that look noticeably different than normal. While the more saturated Paris and Raticate end up looking a lot like their official shiny colorations, there are several Pokemon there that look noticeably different from both their normal and their regular shiny colorations. Weepin' Bell looks much darker than normal, but its shiny form is lighter than normal. Vileplume has orange flower petals with different patterns on them. While regular shiny Vileplume does have more orange flower petals, its body is bright green. Nidoran male and female are much darker and more saturated than normal, but their regular shiny colorings are dramatic color changes. And the most dramatic difference is the Butterfree. Its wings get a yellowish tint and have a different spot pattern. Interestingly, apparently all Butterfree in the Orange Islands look like this, and several other Butterfree looking just like this one are seen in later episodes of the Orange Islands anime. There was also another location in the Orange Islands that featured several wrong shiny Pokemon, that being number four, the Pinkin Island Pokemon. In this episode, Ash, Misty, and Tracy arrive at Pinkin Island, an island where all of the native Pokemon are pink. Apparently, this is due to their diet comprised exclusively of the native growing berry, Pinkin Berries, which turns the Pokemon pink. 
and in this episode, a ton of pink Pokemon were shown. Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, Rattata, Nidoran Female, Nidoran Male, Nidoking, Vileplume, Paris, Venonat, Diglett, Mankey, Primeape, Bellsprout, Dodrio, Dugtrio, Exeggutor, Rhyhorn, and Rhydon. The only Pokemon on that list that has a pink shiny is Nidoran Female, and even so, it's a different shade of pink. While these Pokemon's colorations are changed by their diet, whereas most shiny Pokemon are implied to be born with their alternate colorations, it's still technically an alternate coloration, so therefore, still technically shiny. Another wrong pink shiny from the Pokemon anime is one that I'm pretty sure you're familiar with. That being number five, the pink Butterfree. I am very confident that most of you have seen what is probably the saddest episode of the Pokemon anime of all of them. That being Bye Bye Butterfree. You know how the story goes. Ash's Butterfree falls in love with another Butterfree whose body is pink instead of the usual purple. Due to this episode, many people assume that Butterfree's official shiny coloration is pink, but that's not the case. This is what a shiny Butterfree looks like in the main series games. So therefore, the pink one is a wrong shiny. What's interesting though is that Bye Bye Butterfree was first aired over two years before Gold and Silver were released, the games that included shiny Pokemon for the first time. Clearly, the official shiny Butterfree was determined by the palette algorithm, which to me is a pretty big disappointment. We know that a couple shinies back then were intentionally designed, like the Red Gyarados, so it really disappoints me that they didn't do the same thing for Butterfree and have it match that extremely famous episode. We have discussed several wrong shinies from the anime, so let's shift gears and talk about some wrong shinies from non-main series video games, one of which is number six, the alternate skins in Pokken Tournament. In Pokken Tournament, when two of the same species of Pokemon fight each other, one of them has their coloration changed so the players can more easily tell whose Pokemon is whose. One might expect that the alternate colorations would be that particular species' shiny coloring, but that is not the case. In fact, for the vast majority of them, their alternate coloring is very different from their official shiny coloring. Instead of a dark crimson, Blaziken turns blue. Instead of yellow, Lucario turns red. Instead of a light cyan, Sceptile turns purple. There are even some Pokemon whose alternate coloring makes them half their normal color and half another color, like Machamp and Pikachu. The only alternate colorings that look remotely close to that Pokemon species' official shiny is Darkrai and Mega Charizard X. And even then, it's not exact. All of the other Pokemon have an alternate coloring that is drastically different. Also, I should mention for Pikachu Libre that its outfit changes colors, not its body. So this one isn't even a shiny. Now for some of these Pokemon, I understand why the alternate coloration is not that Pokemon species shiny coloring, because the shiny coloring of that Pokemon looks too close to the regular coloring, like with Garchomp or Gengar. However, for the Pokemon whose shiny colorings are very different from normal, there isn't a clear reason why they chose to design different alternate colorings. I mean, I'm not complaining. A lot of the alternate colorings look super dope. I just don't understand why they did it. There's also another more famous fighting game that features wrong shiny Pokemon. That being the focus of number seven, the alternate skins in Super Smash Bros. For this entry, I will only be focusing on the alternate colorations in Super Smash Bros Ultimate both because it is the newest Super Smash Bros, and also because it features every single playable Pokemon character. It is no secret that since the beginning, Super Smash Bros has featured alternate colorations for all of its playable characters. This is done both to better differentiate between two people playing as the same character, and also to show team colors in team battles. And also it's fun. And since there are several Pokemon fighters, and they all have several alternate colorations, that means that there are several wrong shinies of Pokemon in Super Smash Bros. None of Greninja's alternate colorations are its shiny form. The black one is the only one that comes close, but it is not the same. Incineroar has one alternate coloration that does match its shiny form, but all of the other ones are incorrect. Jigglypuff is a weird situation because some of its alternate colors resemble Jigglypuff's shiny in body coloration, but not in eye coloration. So while some come close, None are correct shinies, although there are a couple that are just regular Jigglypuff wearing a different hat. 
Lucario, like Greninja, does not have any alternate colorations that match its official shiny. Mewtwo's cyan skin comes close to its normal shiny coloring, but not quite. All of the other ones are wrong. Pichu does not actually have any incorrect shinies, since its only changes between skins are to its headwear, plus the spiky-eared Pichu. Pikachu's red hat coloration seems to be dark enough to qualify as its official shiny form. However, for all of the other ones, they seem to be too close to its regular coloring to count as wrong shinies, except for maybe the green one. And finally, for Pokemon Trainer, Squirtle in the green skin resembles its correct shiny, and Ivysaur in the yellow skin is mostly close to its correct shiny. Additionally, Charizard in the purple skin resembles its original shiny coloration in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, prior to them changing it to its current black and red design in Generation 3. All of the other Pokemon colorations are wrong shinies. There are two other entries on this list focusing on console games, and the first of which is number 8, nicknamed Pokemon in Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. In these games, Pokemon with a nickname will have slightly different colorations than normal. Usually it's only slightly lighter or slightly darker, but there are occasional instances of the color changes being more dramatic, like with the mouth of this Rhyhorn. Additionally, the original trainer's ID number affects the coloration, so even if two different trainers name their same species of Pokemon the same thing, their colorations will be different. As I said, the changes are rarely drastic, but also as I have said in this video, the change doesn't have to be drastic to count as a shiny Pokemon. The next entry is number 9, Shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Colosseum and XD. I mentioned this briefly earlier in the video, but for those who did not know, prior to Generation 6, almost all shiny Pokemon were designed using a palette algorithm. In other words, a person did not intentionally design them, which is why so many of them look bad. However, as a result of this, an amusing mistake happened in the GameCube games Pokemon Colosseum and XD. They used a similar palette swapping algorithm to change the Pokemon's colorations to be shiny, but since they were 3D models with a different color palette than the 2D sprites, the algorithm didn't behave the same. As a result of this, a substantial portion of the shiny Pokemon in these games are just flat out wrong. Some of the more noticeable examples are Voltorb, Scizor, and Lombre, but there are many more that are just totally different. So that covers all of the entries on this list that are found exclusively in video games, but there is one more that is found in both the anime and the video games. That being number 10, the Purple Kecleon. Kecleon was the first generation 3 Pokemon to ever appear in the anime, and it debuted in the episode The Kecleon Caper, which first premiered in Japan on July 5th, 2001. The episode features two Kecleon, one of which is normal and one of which is purple. As a result of this episode, for many, many years, I believed that Kecleon's shiny coloring was purple. However, when I found a shiny Kecleon in my Omega Ruby several years ago, I was surprised to see that its shiny is not purple. It's just a regular Kecleon with a blue belly stripe instead of red. Therefore, that means that purple Kecleon is a wrong shiny, which is crazy to me. They had a wrong shiny featured in this Pokemon species debut, a year and a half before Ruby and Sapphire were even released. One would think that with such a memorable debut being the first Gen 3 Pokemon in the anime, they would intentionally design Kecleon's shiny to be purple to match. But no, we just got the blue belly stripe. This purple Kecleon has also appeared in several Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, those being Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, Explorers of Time, Explorers of Darkness, and Explorers of Sky. It runs shops with its brother, who is a regularly colored Kecleon. It also appears in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Team Go-Getters Out of the Gate, an anime special focused on Mystery Dungeon. One thing to note though is that the purple Kecleon from the Mystery Dungeon universe has green lines on its face instead of the yellow ones seen in Kecleon's anime debut. However, in later Mystery Dungeon games, those being Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon, the purple Kecleon isn't there, only the regular one is. Maybe that's because the developers felt silly for not making official shiny Kecleon be purple, so they decided to deal with the purple one permanently.
Another wrong shiny is number 11, the Purple Toxapex. In the Sun and Moon anime episode titled Fighting Back the Tears, Team Rocket encounters a wild male Marini that James's female Marini recognizes as its first love. During the events of the episode, the wild Marini evolves into a Toxapex, and both while it is a Marini and while it's a Toxapex, it has purple head tentacles instead of the normal pale blue, meaning it is a shiny. However, Marini's and Toxapex's official shiny colorations show them with reddish pink head tentacles instead of purple. Therefore, this purple-headed Toxapex from the anime is a wrong shiny. Some other wrong shiny Pokemon that appeared in the Sun and Moon anime actually only showed up in a banned episode, those being number 12, the Akala Island Passimian. I should probably first address why this episode is banned. At some point in the episode, Ash dresses up like a Passimian, and the black face paint he wears clearly resembles blackface. Obviously, not okay, so this episode was skipped in the dub and never aired anywhere outside of Asia. The central conflict of this episode focuses on a group of Passimian from Akala Island arriving on Mele Mele Island and causing trouble. This group of big, mean, and buff Passimian have orange spots on their body instead of the usual green. While this is a subtle change, it's definitely enough to warrant these Passimian being considered shiny. I would equate it to Kecleon's shiny, where only a part of its body changes color, but it's a very dramatic change. Obviously, I'm very familiar with Kecleon's shiny now. Considering that Passimian's normal shiny coloring is very different from its regular coloring and looks nothing like these orange spotted ones, these Akala Island Passimian are wrong shinies. Another example of an anime wrong shiny with a subtle change is number 13, the Green Crystal Deoxys. In the seventh Pokemon movie, Destiny Deoxys, two different Deoxys appear in the movie. One looks completely normal, but the other one has a green chest crystal instead of the usual purple. Like we just discussed with Passimian, this change is definitely enough to classify this green crystal Deoxys as a shiny. But since regular shiny Deoxys still has a purple chest crystal and also is completely bright yellow, this green crystal Deoxys is a wrong shiny. The next entry is also a similar situation, that being number 14, Z2. Z2 is the name that Team Flare gave to one of the Zygarde cores that appeared in the X and Y saga of the anime. The other one was Squishy, the one that spent a lot of time with the main group. Z2's color difference is that the hexagon on its belly is blue. Every piece of official art of a regular Zygarde core form shows its belly hexagon to be red. But that is not yet enough to classify Z2 as a wrong shiny, since Zygarde core form does not have an official shiny coloration in the main series games, since you can't use a Zygarde core form in battle. However, Z2 is still a wrong shiny due to its appearance in its 10% form. When it is Guard Dog, its hexagon on its neck is blue, just like it was in its core form. This is distinctly different from the appearance of Zygarde 10% form in the main series games, which still has a red neck hexagon. However, it is very clearly not the normal shiny coloration either, since that thing is bright white. So while it is another example of a subtle difference, it is still a noticeable difference, and therefore makes it a wrong shiny. And the final entry on this list is number 15, the Snowman Snorlax. These special Snorlax appeared in a Pikachu short called Snorlax Snowman. In the English dub, this was combined with Delibird's Dilemma to form Pikachu's Winter Vacation an episode of Pokemon Chronicles. In this episode, Pikachu and the other Pokemon encounter several white Snorlax, which live in a frigid winter climate. Shiny Snorlax is normally blue, so clearly these Snowman Snorlax are wrong shinies. One could claim that these Snorlax are regional variants rather than shinies, since they seem to have adapted to a winter climate, but since this special first aired 16 years before regional variants were even just announced, I think it's fair to just classify them as shinies, and wrong shinies at that. So there we have it. Those are 15 instances of wrong shiny Pokemon in official material. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it and want to see some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend this video here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, Pokefans. Gotta catch them all.